Hey loves, welcome back. Yeah, I'm holding the basket, the basket full of all of my empties. It's full. It's got to the point now where I actually don't understand how I get through so much. But yeah, here we are once again, once again with a hell of a lot of product empties. I'm going to put this down. So for those of you that don't know, product empties videos are for me one of my favourites to watch because I'm super nosy. I love to see what products people are, are using and loving and enjoying. And when someone uses something up completely, then they've used it for long enough to have a really good opinion on whether or not they'd recommend it, whether or not they'd buy it again. And I think if someone repurchases something in a world full of products, then that speaks volumes. So let's just crack on and get on with it. I'm going to go through all of my product empties. I've got skincare, makeup, hair care, body care, all of the things. This time I am going to organise it because normally I just dip in and it's all over the place. So I figured we'll try and organise it. Who am I? I know. I don't even recognise myself right now. If you enjoyed this video, as always, hit the thumbs up button. It helps me out massively and consider subscribing. But without further ado, let's go through my rubbish now. What's that? Oh, I'm already regretting this decision to organise. Who who does this? Okay. Oh, my rubbish is organised. Not doing that again. <laughs> well, I might. I might. Let's start. Wow. Let's start with makeup cosmetics products. I don't have many of those because for me to actually finish up a makeup product is virtually impossible because I am slightly addicted and have so many things. So the first thing is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water Set and Refresh Spray. This was just a little mini one. Really, really nice. You can use it before makeup to refresh your makeup. It's just one of those great multi-use products. It's nice. I wouldn't rush out and buy it again because I have another product I love much more. But um, it's refreshing. It did a nice job. The one that I would buy again that I have finished and I cannot find... Oh no, it's here. The setting spray that I would highly recommend that I have used up will 100% repurchase because it's the best setting spray I have ever used. I know. It's even better than the Urban Decay All Nighter. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is the mini size. I did a whole review video on this when I did a full day wear test. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it in the description below. But this stuff is like the strongest setting spray ever you can use it before makeup after makeup throughout the day so similar to this this has got ridiculous staying power so if you want your makeup to last all day through workouts through the whole shebang then this is the one you need i just loved it so much beautiful fine sprayer so so impressed yes love love that the one thing from charlotte tilbury that isn't technically completely used up and i don't know if i'd repurchase is the pillow talk plump up lashes i did a separate review on this as well and i loved it i used this before i started using my lash growth serum so my lashes were so much shorter and it made a big difference i loved how smooth it was how it applied how it wore like it really did tickle the boxes for me the one problem i have with it even though i got the mini travel size for me I found that the formulation dried out really quite quickly and it just doesn't apply like it did the first few weeks, which is a shame because I really did enjoy it. It's got a very kind of odd, unique flat brush. If I was to get this again, I'd get another mini because I'd be too worried about buying a larger size. I don't know if it's just me or if you've had the same thing, but I really, really love this. Just don't love that I couldn't use it all. That's the only reason I wouldn't buy it again. That's it for makeup products, not many. Let's move on to skincare. Oh, I love me some skincare. And my empties are going to show just how much I love me some skincare. I'm going to start off with one of my favourite products that I discovered. This has got to be in like my top five products of 2020. This saved 2020 for me. It's the James Reed Click and Glow Tanning Drops. This stuff is incredible. Skincare ingredients, so it's beautiful for your skin. But it allows you to create a customizable adjustable tan perfect for you so i mix this in with my spf my ultra sun but you can put it into your moisturizer a couple of clicks is going to give you a beautiful subtle glow the more clicks you add the deeper darker the color you get it just 
doesn't smell, it doesn't dry out my skin. There is another very popular toning brand that everyone loves for their face that I have used. But every time I use it, halfway through the day, I like my face feels so dry. This doesn't do it, it's hydrating. The color is just beautiful. I cannot rave about this enough and I've already repurchased it. Just a must have for me, even through the winter, because I am very pale. I love adding just one or two clicks to my SPF and it just gives me a healthy glow. It makes me look healthier and better. And oh, I love you so much. I love this. If you just, yeah, just one of my most favorite products ever, ever. Can you tell I'm slightly obsessed with that? I just, I really, really, really love that. Wow. Not sponsored, not sponsored, just obsessed. I mentioned it quickly, Ultra Sun. I, I finished the Ultra Sun Face SPF 50. This is my favorite SPF brand ever. It doesn't leave a white cast. It's not greasy or sticky. It doesn't make you break out. And it lasts for eight plus hours on the skin, which is really important to me. I want to put my SPF on in the morning and know that I'm good to go all day, especially if I'm wearing makeup on the top. It sinks in like a moisturizer. The SPF 50 is slightly thicker than the 30. I just finished this this week just to use it up and then throughout the winter months I will drop down to the 30 but through the summer I use 50 and yes I use SPF, I use Ultra Sun every single day. It's a step of my skincare routine, it's not negotiable, it's not something I might put on if it looks sunny. I use this without fail and I, yeah it's like my holy grail SPF. I'm holding this, I'm waving it with my bingo ring. This is the Espar Natural Beauty Inner Calm Optimal Skin Pro Cleanser. I showed this in my autumn favourites, I believe. Oh, this is beautiful. So nice. I haven't repurchased it, but I definitely will. I haven't bought it just yet because I've got quite a few cleansers I need to get through and I'm trying to be good. But this is just one of my favourites. This is a multi-use enzyme cleanser, an exfoliator and a mask for radiant skin. It has little beads in it. They are biodegradable kind of jojoba beads. So you put it on and massage it in. You can feel the gentle beads, but as you rub it in, the beads burst and then the texture of it changes slightly. Oh, such a pleasure. You can leave it on your skin for a little bit longer to use as like an exfoliating mask. I just use it as my second cleanse in the evening and it smells incredible and yeah, I am now, now that I've showed you, I'm going to cut this open and scrape out every last morsel. This is a mini one. This is the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. The original flavour. It's not a flavour, is it? Don't eat it. Don't do that. The original scent. Just, oh, it's just, I'm going to smell. Oh, yeah, just smells like luxury spa. Again, I use this in the evening as my second cleanse. Take it off with a nice warm flannel. Same with the Espa. Just a real, real pleasure. I would definitely repurchase this again, but I've got quite a few on the go. Oh, it's just, it's a fail safe, like, yeah. Yep, yeah, yeah. Two Beauty Bio products, because it wouldn't be a product empties of mine without Beauty Bio. It's one of my favorite skincare brands. Granted, it is a little bit more pricey, but I've been using them for years and really, really, really enjoy them. I haven't repurchased them just because I've got a lot of products on the go, but they are like my go-to. I know I can rely on them. I know they deliver great results. And I love the rose gold packaging. This is the Quench. This is a quadrilipid cream. I use this in the evening. It's just, it's just a beautiful, rich, hydrating cream. Great if you've damaged your skin barrier. Just, oh, it leaves your skin refreshed and plump and hydrated. And it's just so scrummy. And this is the Ultimate. I use this in the morning. I love that it's got a pump top so you can really control the portion size. I wish the other one had that. One downside is that the rose gold started to come off a little bit. And I only noticed because I'd put my cream on and then like 10 minutes later, I'd look in the mirror and I'd wonder how my face was glittery. And then I worked, up, worked out it was the packaging. No big deal. This is like a vitamin C moisturiser, not as thick as the quench, but still beautifully hydrating and... Yeah, I just, I really love Beauty Bio, really do. What else have we got? Oh, another cleanser. This was a little Estee Lauder Take It Away Makeup Remover Lotion. It's all right, I used it. It's supposed to just remove makeup and waterproof makeup. It was just meh, meh. It was all right. Definitely wouldn't buy it again though. Um, it just doesn't give me the same 
joy as the other cleansers i mean i know it's more it's more of a makeup remover so yeah meh meh oh another moisturizer a little mini one uh, this is the Ren Evercalm Global Protection Day Cream. It's a really nice, lightweight moisturiser. I use this in the morning. Um, lasted a really long time. Great for sensitive skin. If you've got a kind of like red or oversensitized skin, then this is such a beautiful, calming, nice product. Again, haven't repurchased it yet, but I, I would. I would once I get through all of these things. Finally finished this eye cream that I've had on the go for a really long time. Oh, packaging is filthy. Don't, 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 don't look at that. This is the Dr. Brandt DNA Triple Peptide Eye Cream. Love this. Used it in the morning, all around my eye area. Really hydrating. I have noticed a difference with the kind of fine lines around my eyes. Just beautiful. Sinks in, doesn't leave a res residue. You know, with some eye creams, I'm using one at the moment and I'll fill you in at a later date that doesn't really sink in very well and then if I put makeup or touch my face it peels and it goes all bobbly on my skin oh I don't like that this doesn't do that it sinks in great for underneath makeup just a beautiful product and this lasted for months and months and months yeah that's a good one I would buy that again defo this is the timeless coenzyme q10 so the coq10 serum CoQ10 is an antioxidant that's supposed to help kind of plump and help with collagen and elastin. You can take it internally, not this one, but you can take versions of CoQ10 internally and externally. The research on it is mixed. Like some people believe that this is just a miracle product and some people are like, no, it doesn't really do anything. I enjoyed it. I need to repurchase my vitamin C at some point from the same brand. And I think I'll probably get this again. It also has hyaluronic acid. Um, super lightweight no kind of residue at all my skin just drunk it up I don't know desperately if this is any visible difference but the problem is I use so many products <laughs> to be fair it's really quite hard to tell which ones are working and which aren't maybe I'll not use this for a while and then if I notice any difference then I'll buy it again but yeah if you're looking for a CoQ10 Timeless is a great brand super super affordable really high concentration of quality ingredients for a low price like yeah it's a good brand good brand another serum this is the vitamin c serum by the brand e cooking i believe they're a danish brand fragrance free i think if i'm right yeah the biggest ingredient in this is aloe really lovely vitamin c serum sunk in again super quick vitamin c is a wonderful product i use vitamin c every single morning great for skin tone and brightening and just something you need in your skincare routine and this was really nice i actually use this pretty quick to be honest wow god another product i use up this is a squalane and hyaluronic acid serum from kate somerville i got this in tk maxx i kept the box so that i could remember this was 29.99 in tk maxx kate somerville products are beautiful but they are quite expensive so when i saw a few products in tk maxx well, i don't know how long ago six months ago i snapped them up squalane is a great hydrating ingredient obviously we all know about hyaluronic acid this was really really nice it was like a white milky kind of texture super lightweight i use this in the evening i have looked for this online i have searched and searched and i cannot find it anywhere it's like it almost doesn't exist this was supposed to make your skin look more plump and dewy and radiant. Yeah, I, I probably would have bought this again if I could find it. It's disappeared. Where is it? No one knows. These are the little capsules that I got in the Look Fantastic Elizabeth Arden bundle that they very kindly sent me. These are the hyaluronic acid ones. And they were. And these were the retinol. So they, I've kept the packaging so I can show you because obviously there's nothing to see. I think I got 10 in each or seven, seven. I got seven in each. And they were like individual portion sizes of hyaluronic acid serum and a retinol obviously retinol at night um now i loved these they felt incredible on the skin because they're individually portioned the contents is much much fresher and more potent and more effective because the sort of air and oxygen and everything's not getting to the ingredients however for me i found the portion size a little bit too big and i have got a massive massive big head a massive big moon face i've got a lot of surface area up in here and i appreciate that you're supposed to take it down the neck and the decollete but i just felt like there was a lot and if it was in a normal jar or pump dispenser 
I would have been a little bit more, what's the word, tight. <laughs> I would have been a little bit more less generous with the, the portion size. And once the capsule's open, you have to use it. So I'm sure my chests and everything will appreciate these yummy ingredients. I think that these will be really good for people with kind of much more drier skin that would appreciate a lot more product. But for me, I loved them, loved how it felt, loved how plump and smooth my skin felt with both of them, but just so much product, so much product. I'm gonna speed up, I'm gonna speed up. This is from La Roche-Posay. This is the Tola, I don't know how to say it. It's this one, this facial spray. This was lovely. I love a good facial spritz. Use this in the morning, after washing my face, spritz this on. Whilst my face is still damp, apply all my other ingredients. If you're using like a hyaluronic acid serum, it's great to apply it onto damp skin so that it has that water to kind of hold onto. Really like this, no alcohol, no perfume. Definitely, definitely, definitely would buy this again. A quick selection of sheet masks and face masks. I'm gonna fly through these. This one was from Dr. Jart, the Soothing Hydra Solution. Got this in TK Maxx. Definitely would buy that again. Loved it. These little star skin under eye catcher patchy things. They were nice. This is a cream one. That was nice. <laughs> this one was really interesting. This is from Skin Republic Gold Hydrogel Mask. Two parts fitted like a glove really really enjoyed this one actually yep yeah, that was nice i've only got one oral care product my favorite mouthwash ever waken this one was kindly sent to me this is the last of the ones that they sent to me and i've already repurchased this myself in boots it's always on offer so go and check it out 0% alcohol i hate mouthwashes with high alcohol that really burn and sting my mouth they have incredible flavors does a really great job i love the recyclable packaging looks really pretty and attractive in your bathroom this is the peppermint i love the lemon i just they're just my favorite mouthwash i just love the company and the mouthwashes are just what truly wonderful really honestly yeah i will keep rebuying this over and over because they're just so good right speed up even more hair care elnet hairspray like classic you can't go wrong with a little bit of elnet this one was dropped many a time just great it brushes out yeah like you it's just a classic for a reason love that uh batiste dry shampoo for brunettes i think i mentioned this last time where i used to say that i hated this but now i actually like it because i'm older and i've got a lot of gray hairs so for me it kind of covers grays and does the job of a dry shampoo already repurchased that it's not my favorite the living proof one is my favorite this is just a good day-to-day -day affordable option really nice Shampoo and conditioner. I think I got these in a FabFitFun quite a while ago. This is by R & Co. These are the Television Perfect Hair Shampoo and Conditioner. Really, really like these. I think they're quite expensive. So depending on the price, I might buy them again. If they're on offer or they're a good deal, then I would. Really nice. Great job. Didn't weigh my hair down. Left it super silky and shiny. Really, really enjoyed those. Living Proof Flex Shaping Hairspray. Living Proof is my one of my favorite hair brands ever. And this was lovely. You can use it on damp or dry hair. Just a really good, good hairspray. Great little travel size. Definitely would buy that again. This one I wouldn't buy again. This is by, I don't even know who, who you are. IGK? I don't even know where I got this. This is the First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. For me, this just had too much white. If you're blonde or you're grey, you might enjoy this. As a brunette, I struggle to get the white residue out. And I know a lot of dry shampoos give you that white residue and you have to kind of work it out. But this was just too much hard work. It did an okay job, but as a busy mum, I haven't got time to like spend 20 minutes trying to get the white residue out. So I wouldn't buy that again. But dry shampoo is life. The Philip Kinsley Elasticizer, one of my favourite hair products. You put this into damp hair before you wash it, which I love. Like, I love hair masks. I love really conditioning, rich treatment products on my hair, but I don't often have time to, like, wash it, get out of the shower, put on a mask, get back in, you know, all of those things. So I love that you can use this before shampoo. You can sleep in it. I'm quite lazy, so I wouldn't often dampen down my hair. I just slather this on and leave it on for as long as possible. And then you just wash it out and you carry on with your hair routine. This is one of the best hair masks I've ever used. I 
love this it's so deep conditioning already repurchased yeah the espa <laughs> I'm sorry this is so speedy it's just so many things the espa pink hair and scalp mud i think i got this in a look fantastic box this is another great product very similar to the uh, elasticizer but this one is more for your scalp and your hair which i really enjoyed you're supposed to again put it on damp hair i didn't really bother i just slapped it on massaged it into my scalp slept in it washed it off the next day really really enjoyed this i had like a dry patch at the base of my neck and this really helped that so i would buy that again if i had to pick i'd go with the Philip kingsley we're nearly there we're going to move on to body products now i got this in the look fantastic advent calendar that was sent to me i think i'm sure i did and this is my most favorite foot product i've ever 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 used already repurchased it this is in insanely good this is the overnight foot cream by e-cooking it smells a little bit like vicks vapor rub if you've ever smelt that so it's so hydrating so it exfoliates and moisturizes your feet while you sleep but just the scent of it is out of this world eucalyptus and mint and fresh and just beautiful i love me some avon bubble bath so so affordable this is always on offer for like half price like a pound or something the reason I buy these is that I've got kids that like to have a lot of baths and they like a lot of bubbles and a lot of bubble bath. And it's not that I'm tight, but when, when we get through so much bath product, you know, affordable is better. <laughs> and Avon is just so great and affordable for bathing products. Going from like budget, super affordable to much more expensive, but just my favourite. This is from Sol de Janeiro. This is the Brazilian Four Plate Moisturising Shower Cream. This smells the same as the Boom Boom Bum Bum Cream. I know that that scent is very much like Marmite. You either love it or hate it. For me, it's one of the nicest scents in the whole entire world and I'm obsessed with it. I've asked Father Christmas for the perfume. Oh, it just smells so yummy. Love it so much. I haven't repurchased this because I'm hoping that I've spoken about how much I love this fragrance so much that my husband may be paying attention and maybe hopefully have, have bought me some of these products. But it's sulfate-free just so rich and luxurious and the scent it stays on your skin oh yeah oh two little mio products um this is the sun drenched body wash really nice very citrusy and this is the sleeping smooth the overnight serum this one came in the black friday look fantastic bundle they sent this is like a um a moisturizer that you put on at night that has a h haze in it that kind of smooth and exfoliate your skin they both smell citrusy and beautiful definitely buy and use those again really really enjoyable this was a random one <laughs> This is the Sunday Rain Clear as Day Bath Crystals. They smell like Earl Grey tea, if I remember rightly. Is it Earl Grey? I think they smell like Earl Grey. Or am I lying? I don't know what they smell like. They smell yummy. That scoop is enough for like an elf bath. And I haven't really got time to like stand like gently scooping. So I never use the scoop. I just poured it in. Probably way too much product. Probably wasted too much. I really like that. Because they're bath salts, they don't give you any kind of bubbles but it smelled really nice. Two little Sanctuary body scrubs. Is anyone else like me? Like they have a whole bunch of mini Sanctuary products underneath their bathroom sink and you've got no idea how long they've been there or even how they got there. But yet, there they are. Decided to finally use these. Nice body scrub. For me personally, I like body scrub with pizzazz. Like if I'm gonna bother to exfoliate my body, I want it to remove five layers of skin and make me look like a newborn baby. So these are nice, but just a bit mamby-pamby. So I wouldn't buy a big one of this because I, I want like, I want some grit to my exfoliator. So these are enjoyable. If you've got super sensitive skin or you're looking for a really nice, gentle, mild exfoliator, then you might like that. The last thing, this is from Lush. This is the Snow Fairy body spray. I got this last Christmas. Snow Fairy is one of my favourite kind of scents. It's really fun and young and fresh and all the things. And it's a limited edition, so it sells out pretty quick. You can only get it around the festive period. So I've had this almost a year and I kept it. I don't know why I kept it for that long. It was like, oh, I can't get this. So I'm not going to use it, which is just so stupid. But I used it. And I will definitely 100% be buying the Snow Fairy shower gel and probably this again. My daughter Ellie loves this. If you smell Snow Fairy from Lush, you know what I mean. It's just like one of those classic scents. My mum first bought me my first Snow Fairy product 
um, maybe like eight years, eight plus years ago. So for me, it's like a very nostalgic scent. Reminds me of her. Yeah, it's just sweet. Very, very sweet and sugary. If you don't like that kind of smell, then you're not going to like this. But it's, I just love it. There you go. There's all my product empties. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I have no idea how I get through products, but I use a lot of stuff. I enjoy testing and trying and using and clearly every inch of my body is covered in some kind of product at some point of the day anyway if you did enjoy this hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing have you got a product that you repurchase time and time and time again let me know like what are your holy grail must-haves because i want to try them let me know in the comments below thank you so much for your time and for watching i really appreciate it i'll speak to you really soon take care that that I don't know what that wave was. That was like a a crab.